Hello everyone, welcome you all. Uh, today we are going to have a look how to add Uniflow online manually in the MIP enabled devices. Let's begin. Uniflow online application as a MIP app and, uh, by default all IR advanced uh, third generation devices will have this option by default. If your device is older than that, just upgrade the platform by updating the firmware. You will have the Uniflow online setup as an option. So now I have a year advanced generation 3 device. So I have this option called Uniflow online setup. So in order to access the setup, we will have to log in as an administrator. So now I am trying to get my administration credentials through so once i logged in then i would be proceeding with uh, uniflow online installation this is a manual process and one of the easiest process as well once you log in as an administrator In flow online setup and check the perform application next so the next one you'll have two options register the device with existing tenant or creating new tenant so now in, in our case, we, I have a tenant which has been created. I'm going to add this device into the tenant. If you are going to, it's the first time you can do create tenant as well. So I select register tenant and click next. So device registration key, uh, device registration key can be obtained from a device utility perspective. So I have another clip uh, which will talk about how to install the DSU. So your registration key is a one-time key which has been generated by uniflow online install that key and click next this time the machine will try to connect uh, through your efo tenant and it asks the login password uh, login method you want to login scan only or along with secure print so login plus scan is uniflow online express and if you add a secure print that is called uniflow online with the printing option so now i have asked for login scan and secure print option just click s yes and uh, the flow will continue so wait for the device to automatically download and install the mom client universal login manager all necessary uh, applications then automatically the machine will be rebooted and it will land in a page where you could see the Uniflow online is trying to start perfect now the machine has come up with the Uniflow online option. So now use your PIN number to access this device. So I have, I have logged in as a root uh, admin one as a user. As you could see top left. And the same thing we can see through RSOK. So I logged in. moment you have Uniflow online installed, you will be anticipated there are secure print and scan and uh, other options. So as you could see, I have not subscribed any uh, subscription. That is the reason I'm getting error. Once you subscribe, then you will not have an error. The following video will let you know how to subscribe the particular options for this printer. Okay.
so i hope uh, you like this video and uh, thanks a lot for watching see you soon with an another interesting clip